Okay, so today we are starting the project uh, which I call The Village. Uh, the idea is to build a simulation out of arcade for the visualization part. It's a game that you don't get to play yourself. It's a game that you watch uh, and you just program the villagers and their behaviors and you just expect them to do stuff. There is some randomness uh, involved. Um, I did not really plan much ahead, so I have a bunch of um, issues that I've put on my on the project uh, GitHub. Today, I I'm not sure I'm gonna spend too much time on um, on the actual programming, but more like laying the foundations for contributions. So yeah, I started. I had the idea four months ago, and I made a bunch of uh, first of January. Okay, it's a while ago. Um, so yeah, the idea is to have your your small uh, uh, sprites moving or moving around and having them interact with each other. Um, so that's that's the idea. It's definitely not something that I'm planning on doing all alone. Well, I, I'm gonna work on it uh, in the beginning by myself. The idea is um, at some point I would like to welcome contributions from other people and I would like to make it a collaborative effort instead of just me coding something. Um, so well, I hope you like the idea. So I think one of the first things we should get into is setting up the basics for contributions. And I think it has to do with, uh, like, I think GitHub, GitHub has a nice community tab here that you can, yeah, so it's, it's, not, it's not great right now. I should add a bunch of additional uh, files here so it's more welcoming for others. Yeah. Um, I think this one is the one I use most of the time. Uh, wait, no. Yes. I guess so, yes. And so the code of conduct is basically preventing harassment and like giving some ground for condemning these behavior and like kicking people out of the project if they misbehave with others this is pretty important uh, this goes straight to the master branch maybe i should review it a bit more i think it's it's pretty standard i've i've read it many many times but Okay, insights, uh, community. Still missing the contribution guidelines. There's a license though. Um, so that is really code conduct contribution guidelines. Yeah. So the contributing guide, usually I put it in the README. Um, so here I would say. Uh, why contributing? Uh, all contributions come. Uh, what else? I hope it's readable. Maybe I could. A bit too much. Um, what contributions are welcome? And then uh, contribution workflow should be by contributing the purpose of this pro project is to have fun together. Um, or Uh, 
and build Introduction to
adding emojis uh, on Linux. Hmm. There are some Oh dear, <laughs> that's big. Um, so I want the party. Yes, party. Good. Issue templates. Things required. Okay. Well, I think I've gone as far as I could in the community part. Probably time to edit a bit the README now.
What can I play? Um, we should do a release at some point. Uh, currently, there is no release. That can just run on your computer. You need to set up. Uh, development environment in order to play the game should I instruct people on how to clone a repository I'll see if it's too complicated, maybe. Maybe uh, requirements. Uh, Python 3.7, I think. Three seven, yes. Three seven. Uh, the arcade. In theory, that should be everything you need to play the game. In theory. All right. good okay so let's get started Okay, so let's just add just a basic something. Um, so we can call it game, I think. And just, we'll probably need at some point some, uh, yeah, we need some assets also. So the top down assets. Um, so it has to be 2D. Uh, and where is this already? The top down. Top down. And the sports one, I think that was it. Got their legs as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, okay, so we'll just need, let's say, um, already. Okay, there are by colors. Oh, I okay. oh, get the parts. Oh. You know, like maybe, yeah, top down is one thing, but they could also be isometric, I guess. As long as it's 2D. Character assets. Yeah, right now, I think anything would do. 
Uh, yeah, that's a pity because this guy is only one color. Otherwise, he would just quite a good uh, performer. Yeah, okay. Let's let's take these guys. Okay, so now we got. Excellent. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Okay, so let's just take these guys. Uh, let's just take that. And put it here. Okay, good. Um, And now the template for the arcade itself. So it's a uh, Python arc, Python arcade. So I'm not going to try to retype everything from memory. Uh, Like any of these, yes, yes, this one for example. Yep. So, here in this. This we don't know, we don't need, sorry. Well, probably I should also add... Black to format my code. So it doesn't look ugly for a while. Mm-hmm. of the file here file path disable auto save okay okay uh, I'll add my files myself right so black works now I get this set up So this is the, the initial setup. Uh, I think the only thing that we actually need is this right now. There's no key press or key release right now, and we just have the rendering of things. Okay, so this is good. This is good. So we just we just start rendering. We just don't draw anything right now. 
in game logic and all. So this will go in the update, uh, the sprite updates. And then main here. So ideally, so this this too belongs to the clan. Oh no, no, wait, it doesn't. Screen width, screen height, screen title. Good. Okay, now time to, time to know if we did good or not. Python game dot pi. Ah, this banner. The attribute physics engine, of course, we disabled that, so we should comment that one out as well. And just put pass. Good. So loud deal is not defined, so the support will be limited. Okay, oh that's the new that's the new binary, that's the new library to to do sound in arcade. Okay. Never mind. I don't really care right now, I'm, I'm not having any sound. Okay, so now let's put some villagers. I think... And, um, I'll add um, Alice and the sprite of Alice is going to be something on the uh, something which looks like uh, damn keyboard. Uh, where is this? Yes. Um, and then I have. Okay, so probably she's in uh, what's cheer idle. Let's do let's take idle right now. Okay, and now we just need to move this one into um, the village dark tree. Of an asset directory and villagers or yes. Okay, so female idol good. And then We'll probably have to take the advent player. I can. That's player. Going to be the male character, I guess. And then soldier. <laughs> I 
they are so so funny faces they're making it's awesome okay let's take everyone let's take all the idle people here <laughs> okay so now we've got a great cast yeah, they're not mine but thanks <sighs> so adventure female player soldier and zombie okay that's going to be a happy bunch in the village uh, so female item Should probably remove the idol but probably i'm gonna use the whole set later on so let's let's be careful right and i'm going to add okay alice and rob And are both villagers of the village. So right now what we need is to add an add villager method on the game. I just call it game. It's less less confusing. Alright. So Name, uh, it's called image assets. I don't know. Image name, skin. Image name. Right. So that's a new sprite. He is. A villager and now I think so what you need is put the image name so file name uh, so that's gonna be a path so uh, so they live in assets Assets and then villagers, and then image name. Next in the in the here in the initializer, I need to create the, the array where I got all my villagers. So so that villagers. Okay. And I think this is pretty much it. So we'll have two characters, but we don't know where they are going to be located now. So we need to find them a place to live. Uh, what's the usual method here for loading as sprites? Okay, just put them like moving their center to some. Oh, it has to be sprite list. My bad. Right. Not not a simple list. It has to be an arcade sprite list. List Spatial hash in static. No, it's not. And 
now. Oh, that's neat. The resources in here. I didn't know. How do you define the resources? Just figures out. Well, there is no like i don't like this magic thing here so i'm just gonna ignore it for now and the scaling maybe i should i should use the scaling the sprite scaling here because i have the feeling i'm gonna need it at some point so just when you load an uh like so this is the path where it lives and then scale sprite scaling okay so now i got my villagers and now i just need to draw them so self so dot villagers dot draw that's that's easy and yeah i should give them some place to start where are they going to pop if I just run the code right now? Yeah, so you guys can just leave. Thank you. Uh -huh. They're not even displayed. That's fantastic. I just put them at center X is a screen high divided by two center y i think it's the opposite okay Yes, here they are. Good, 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 good. Okay, give me two seconds. So what's next? Uh, so I got my guys here. They're tiny, but they're here. Um, so I should probably add a house somehow, somehow, somewhere. So I'll probably get some more assets uh, and a house. This house.
Great. Exactly what we need. Okay. Where are you guys? Former uh, Medieval. Um, Bettina. I think I just take this. Take it, and then I'll just put the whole thing in my assets. And now I'm just just gonna. Please, oh, why is there a com? Come over. Yes. Oh. All right. Surroundings, terrain. Okay, terrain, default size, and then units. Oh, uh, this is so okay. So this is person. Structure. Okay, great. These are the houses and all. I just need a small house. So medieval structure 09.png Okay so You can go Okay And now we'll add game add um, down hall is going to be centered like it's going to be at the middle so i would say um zero times two uh, zero times five zero times five, zero point five and then call it medieval structure zero nine dot png so this 50 percent high 50 percent uh with and then the name so I'll add a new class called building or structure. Oh. Okay. Villagers. Um, building. So we want the buildings, the villagers to be rendered above. So we need to draw first the buildings and then the villagers. It's going to be B is a bu building. So that's always that path that join assets terrain. The assets terrain default size. And 
then structure. Then image name. Probably we'll need a sprite scaling. So that's uh, editor sprite scaling. Okay, so B is a building. E that center X is X placement times screen width. And we want it in Tiger. Should be so, and, and here uh, should uh, tone hole location going to be center X. So now I no longer have to specify this. I can just say, so for the villager, they will automatically start. Town hall location. Good. And that's their name. Uh, I think we don't. So we don't use the name right now, but we're going to use it later on. Okay, good, 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 good. So what's what's next here? Ah, I think I forgot to put something somewhere. Building, drawing the buildings, and drawing the villagers. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, I'm adding the tone hole after the fact. Yes, of course, the tone hole must be added before, otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah, so I got my people, they're tiny, but they're here, and they're on the tone hole. That's great. So, the building doesn't do much. But we can do something about the villagers. So, uh, dev update. And we can make them walk randomly. So, Center X. Random, random. 
center X, center Y, Vigier, they're both Vigiers. Okay, so I'm just going to display her location. Okay, nothing happens. I probably I forgot to switch. I unupdated. I I didn't turn on the updates of the villagers. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> A bit hectic, but they are moving around. They don't really know what to do. Probably I should slow down the ticks. So now it's ticking very often, but I should slow this down a bit. Uh, just stop printing. Arcade slowing down time. I think I'm gonna have to look into uh, updates. Oh boy. So, updates. Or maybe no, I think it's on update. On update here. Yes. Schedule interval rate. Where does rate come from? Set update rate. Oh, fantastic. 60 FPS. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's put the so set up. Okay. So let's set update rate and then let's put Set up and we'll say one twenty four. That's going to be twenty four FPS. Okay, so that's that's already better. Let's go fifteen. Mm, good. Let's go for ten. Because 10 is already fast, like they take, uh, that's, okay, 10 is like a bit too little, 15, 12. Yeah, 12 is good, 12 looks, uh, it's kind of so sparky. That's good, it's good. Alright, so now we can add like Currently, their movement is completely random, so it's not it's not fantastic. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's no way you're gonna end up anywhere. Here. Uh, nope. 
Right. Um, okay, this guy here. I'm afraid they're. Yes. No. Sorry. That's not gonna work. Uh, I'm just gonna keep medieval structure environment. Which that's the environment thing. Ah, that, these are trees. Ah, uh, dear. So I'll just keep this, this, and I'll remove the rest. So now I don't need you. And here. So what's the difference between environment? Nine. What? Oh, that's the environment. Sorry. Uh, structure. Medieval structure nine. Okay, and this one is going to be structure nine. It's absolutely the same, except this one is smaller. You know what? I'll just keep default size. I'll just trash the retina ones. Or I do the other way around. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna keep the retina and I'm going to smash everything else. Time, yes, and I'll delete this terrain, and then I move these guys upstairs. Yes, so I kill this one. So it's going to be terrain and then structure. Oh. So here is going to be terrain and then structure straight after. Okay, so now it's twice as big, so now I need to change the factor, it's going to be 0 0.5. Okay, good, so I could do something which is like nuts 5 with 75, and I re so I still get a bigger house. And so the house is big, the character is small, but there are still, I can still play with the relative size of the... Um, the house compared to the, the size of the people actually if you see the size of the door this is even like more suited but like since they're moving also they're also able to move over the buildings i am just gonna stick where it's 75 for now Or just five, or what? Just five. It will look. It will or six. Okay, thirty six. So now it looks. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I want. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the proportion looks nice to the eye. It's they are small and they are moving small. But the the house is not too big, but it's still bigger than them. Okay, let's go. Let's go with that. Okay, so now I would like to get some... I'm going to be very Bob Ross here, but I need a nice tree. Ah, dear. So I'm just gonna open... Train uh, compass. Yes. Oh, fantastic. This one... So this one goes away and this one is a bush with buried i'm just gonna take this one uh, and i'm going to do the whole process again so it's a resource zero five I need a resource list. I need uh, that uh, resource. Uh, yeah, I think the villagers should be always on top of everything, so uh, keep villagers on top of everything. Please. Note to self. Uh, 
And now I'm just gonna gain add resource. The location of resource is going to be the distance I'm gonna keep the same idea of multiplying with the, with the location, so it's going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then that, and then the bearing. Uh, so it's going, probably going to be very similar to that. Add this horse. Resource here, it's going to be environment building, spread scaling, resource. Okay, and did I put the drawing of the resources? Yes. So, in theory, if I do this, I should see my berries here. Yes. There it is. It's very small. Okay, so I'm just gonna use... I'm going to crank up the size. Okay, that's best. So far so good, so let's let's just commit this and take a small break. Let's review a bit what we've got here. I can get. Um, at basic game with a bit randomly working. Uh huh. Nice. Okay, I need to do some setup. Okay. I'll be here in a second. We 
And I'm back. Okay, so now I could be, I should be able to push the code. Ah, of course. Hello. Great. Good. Okay, so next time we'll start adding stuff like um, villagers walking towards getting some food. Okay. So in the meantime, I wish you a good day. Enjoy your Sunday. And see you next time. Bye.